Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of looking for my dad's next car, which is going to be replacing this car, his BMW Z4, which is looking rather resplendent in the sunshine. Yeah, I did have it clean recently, actually. Very good, very yeah. good. Looking after your cars, finally. Well, once a year, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but for those who may have not seen this series or for those who have been watching but uh, have forgotten, we are looking for the next car for dad to replace this. And as a recap, what is it you're looking for? Yeah, so, well, we have now got a dog and a grandson. Yes. And so I'm looking for something that is going to be more practical. Yes. I mean, practical more than this. Yes. Um, so I'm not looking for an estate car, but a car that I could fit possibly a dog and a grandchild in. So maybe a four seater, um, a two plus two. But the key uh, thing is still convertible. But I still want it to be convertible because I just love the convertible, particularly with weather like this. It's just, you can't beat it, can mm -hmm. you? Exactly. Um, but yeah, just that little bit more practicality. Yeah. And so, so far we've test driven a BMW 335i, which yep. was a little bit underwhelming, uh, an Audi S4, which was also a little, a little bit, bit underwhelming. underwhelming. And today we're test driving a Mercedes CLK and we're filming this retrospectively. And this is a really interesting it one, is, yeah. You guys are gonna be quite surprised maybe, maybe as surprised as we were. And behind the scenes, you've also test driven a number of other sort of derivatives of those cars, but yeah. still not quite on a decision. Not quite nailed it yet, no. So we have a CLK to do. Yeah. And we have a, definitely a BMW 6 series. Yes, I think that'd be interesting. Looking forward to that. I'd really like to test drive one of those. And then we'll go from there, really. So, yeah, um, yeah. yeah let's, without any further ado, jump in the Range Rover. And, uh, yeah, you'll join us on our test drive of the Mercedes CLK 350. Brilliant. So what have we got here, then? So this is a CLK 350, which is a 3.5 litre. What was it, 2006? 2006. Yeah. Or there's a 280 here, which and is... There's a 280 there, which is uh, 2007. I think we want the 350, don't we? we? Do. So this is quite funny, actually, because this is basically the uh, updated model of, of my exactly. former CLK. And to be honest, that's why we're driving it, is because... Is it? Yeah, because I had a bit of a soft spot for your CLK. It's got the seatbelt handles as well, this one. Oh, is it? You just got open and close your door. And close it. Ah! Okay. That's it, we're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. This car's only got 48,000 miles on it. Has it? Yeah. I mean, it's it showing some signs of age, but I mean. So the other thing this thing's got, which you may or may not have noticed so far, is flappy paddles. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can I just say, though, um, in comparison to the S4, yeah. it's extremely nice aspect in here because we've got heated seats. Yeah. That... Oh, did the S4 have heated seats? I didn't look. Is that, is that the... Oh, is this the, the heat? Is this the air coming out the back or something? No, that's not that. I think that's something to do with the rear headrest. Oh, yes, it's just that they go up and oh, down. Or is it? I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like they fold down, doesn't it? A lot. Oh, that's just like in the car. Yeah. And then obviously we've got this. Yeah. Map screen, not touch screen. Some video. No yeah. video. Smooth. Smooth. Matt yeah. from High Peak Auto says you could always, you should always check the radio station before buying a car because it tells you a lot about the person that owned it before you really so if this was on london underground scene fm then you know that it's probably someone who hadn't uh looked after the car and drove it yeah you know like they stole it yeah, yeah. so yeah. smooth i'd say that's somewhere in between radio four and yeah smooth is well, smooth is acceptable smooth fm and lots of seat controls it's got all of the sort of yeah. bolster lumbar the bolster, adjustment uh, everything on there Memory seats, passenger and driver here. Very nice, and even headrest adjustment. You don't have that on the S4. No. Electric headrest adjustment. Oh, yeah. It's very, very tricked out, actually, for a 2006 car. And it, and it's also got metal, um, oh no, that's, oh, it's got that funny foot brake. Foot brake, but it's metal. That's nice. Um, yeah, um, for a 2006 car, in comparison to the equivalent 3 Series or, or S4, yeah, as we now know, or Audi, should I say, it seems pretty pretty up there. Yeah, to be I mean it's and it's I mean it's very comfortable. Mm, I like it. I like it. Well, I want to go and look at the old man's spec one next door. Okay, let's go have a look. These wheels are much nicer than these sort of boy racer ones. Yeah, which I think the offset is wrong on. These look really original and nice. This 280's got a little ducktail sort of lip on it as well, which I quite like actually. That's um. Pretty horrible, isn't it? It's aftermarket. Yeah, that's stereo. a shame, isn't it? It's pretty 
terrible. And it smell. It smells like an old man in here. Yeah. It smells like a care home. And it's not me. You sure? See, I like. See, I really like the old man bit of wood. Yeah, the wood veneer. It's nice, isn't it's it? Lovely. It just makes it feel that bit classier to me. But we don't have electric seats no. here, but we do still have the electric lumbar adjustment, which is nice. Which is weird. Um, and we still have heated seats. And yeah, both um, of these cars that we're in have, have front and rear parking seats. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the manual seat adjustment wouldn't bother me too much, to be honest with you. And tell you what, the other thing I really like, if you just turn the lights on, no, other, other side. side. Oh, here. And again, makes it easier to see the clock dial. So you have speedo revs on the right and then just a clock. Oh, yeah. Left, which huh. I think is lovely. That's quite nice. I think that's really, really nice. It is, it is quite stylish, I have to say. I have to say, I'm, I'm genuinely pleasantly surprised with the interiors on these. Yeah. I, I think my favourite out of all three that we've done so far, the Audi, the Beamer, and, and now this. I think this is my favourite for sure in terms yeah. of just yeah. a place to sit. Yeah. And I love on these Mercs this sort of the way the leather is sort of yes. Do you know, rip, slightly ruffled. Ruffled. Yeah. It's just it just says money. I agree because we've got leather to waste. <laughs> yeah, we've got leather to waste. Mercedes CLK, I think this has been the biggest surprise, well, the only surprise to be honest, I mean everything else has been as expected and the S4 was maybe a little bit underwhelming. Yes. But that, yeah, I think that was quite the opposite. I mean, I, I didn't drive it and I'm quite giddy about that. Yeah, really surprising, really surprising. So it was the 3.5, the acceleration immediately was like, okay, here we go. You know, you can it felt feel more than it felt like it had some beans. I mean, again, not throwing you into the back of the seat sort of acceleration. No, but it felt... But, but really, just really solid, if that's the right yeah. word. Um, and the noise from that V6 And the noise well. from the V6. Really nice. Yeah, really nice noise from the V6. And and just the, the interior just held up, didn't it? In terms of, well, the obviously it's not a modern interior, but in terms of condition, it's yeah. obviously a well looked after example. What it definitely felt like was an upgrade to your CLK, like night and day. Night and day. I mean, it was beyond an upgrade. It yeah. was and it felt a completely different. Car. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really get a chance to hoon it around any corners, but it's still even what I did feel, it felt much more solid than yours. Yours always felt a bit wallowy. Yeah, I but mean, did when, it? But did it feel a bit boat-like? No, not as much as I expected it to. I mean, it, okay. you know, even the steering felt relatively. Responsive, direct, yeah, yeah, and direct. I mean, of course, I didn't really get a chance. To, you're, you're thinking about so many things, aren't you, when you're test, test driving, driving a car? And, for sure. And I didn't, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a particularly long route that we did. So, and can I just say, for the age of the car, um, so that that was 2006. 2006, actually, yeah, yeah. Compared to your equivalent Audi, maybe the A4 convertible or three series convertible, I think the spec. Yes. Things like electronic steering wheel yeah. adjustment. Yeah. Obviously, it had electric seats and stuff, but it even had like electric headrests. Yeah. And um, which this Range Rover has, but it's a different car. I mean, I'm not as bothered by those things as you are. No, but I think it's uh, merit to that that car. Actually, I, I wouldn't have known. I mean, I think I think they're lovely things to have, and it makes it feel a bit more and special it does to feel... have all of these nice little toys. Yeah. I mean, it definitely felt more premium, didn't it, than the ZS4 for sure. Massively so, yeah, um, really surprised. I would say so. that that um, 335i that we drove felt premium to me. Yeah. You know, that was in really good nick. It had the red leather and the black, piano black. Um, and again, just really, just really, I mean, I just like those BMW interiors. I've got very used to my Z4 interior and I just, I just like the simplicity of the Z4 interior, actually. I agree. I mean, yeah, I, I do. I mean, the three series interior, the E9 X generation, yeah, yeah, was probably the sweet spot for BMW. Yes, but I have to say, actually, if I had the choice between spending a three hour drive in that CLK or the Beamer, I'd, I'd definitely choose the Merc. Would you? Just from seats, toys alone. Yeah, and like the, you know, the dials are great, but then you've got the clock 
Yeah, that was left. nice. I think that's that was good. nice. When you're buying a used car, as we spoke about the 3 Series, a CLK like that is very unlikely to have been owned by a boy racer. That is true. So you are going to find that they probably, you know, parts of them will probably last a bit longer or yeah. they at least have been replaced and the service schedule, if you check that, you're probably more likely to find that it's been... Yeah. You know, so that is definitely something to... Yeah, for sure. The, the, the merits the CLKs as well I mean the interesting thing about that one it had a sticker still in the it did on the rear passenger um, 16 console. 17 year old car and it literally still has an original rear passengers must wear seat belts at all times sticker, sticker yeah that hadn't been removed and I mean, that's amazing mean, it's possible that no one ever sat in the back quite possible yeah because yeah. Um, it was in really really good nick and even it had you know the original first aid kit hadn't been touched the original jack in hadn't been touched and that would have been a near as makes no difference 50 grand car yeah when that came out it's crazy isn't it you know so to summarize then um this has been interesting the plot thickens the plot i was sort of thinking we'd probably do this maybe a six series and then we go and buy a three series but (laughs) i don't know the six series might surprise you yeah but the clk is definitely one you want to investigate more yeah i mean let us know again as with the other videos what you think about the clk I have to say, I think I could imagine you in one of those, more so even than a 3 Series. It just suits you quite well. And I don't actually mean it for once in an offensive way. (laughs) I actually think it's quite, I actually think they're quite cool cars. Yeah. Maybe don't get the attention they deserve. And yeah, who knows? So let's go go home and look at Water Trader. Yeah, definitely. definitely. But yeah, comment below if you own a car like that, you have had a CLK, want to share your experience with us, or, you know, just let us know your thoughts on the one we've just looked at. Yeah really interested to hear from you so thank you all again for watching and we're going to do it jointly again we'll see you all again very 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 soon. soon